Were men in the 1940s body and image conscious? Yes, they were. Contrary to popular belief, the concept of body image and self-consciousness is not exclusive to the modern era. In fact, it can be traced back to the first half of the 20th century. Men in the 1940s were indeed image conscious, albeit in ways that suited the cultural, social, and economic context of the time. This self-consciousness encompassed multiple aspects, including physique, grooming, and attire. In the 1940s, the muscular male body started to gain public appeal. At the heart of this new trend were physical fitness and military conditioning, both closely associated with the ongoing Second World War. The war was a powerful catalyst in reshaping public perception of the male physique. Soldiers and sailors were expected to maintain physical fitness levels to excel on the battlefield, contributing to a more substantial emphasis on physical conditioning and a muscular build. Notably, Charles Atlas, a bodybuilder and entrepreneur, popularized physical fitness among men during this era. His bodybuilding advertisements presented the muscular male form as the ideal, promoting a 97-pound weakling who, through a unique fitness routine, transformed into a muscular man capable of standing up to bullies. This transformation, embodied by Atlas, had a significant influence on the body consciousness of men in the 1940s, prompting many to invest time and effort in achieving and maintaining a fit and muscular physique. In the realm of grooming, the 1940s man was equally conscious of his appearance. Hair grooming products, such as Brill Cream, were popular among men, often used to style hair into sleek, shiny, and well-groomed looks that were the trend of the time. This, wet look, was seen as both stylish and professional, demonstrating a man's attention to detail and his commitment to maintaining a presentable appearance. The culture of grooming also extended to shaving and the use of colognes, showing an increased emphasis on personal hygiene and presentation. Men's fashion during the 1940s was a reflection of the era's unique circumstances, particularly the influence of the war. Given the clothing rationing during this time, men's fashion was marked by a simplistic, practical, yet elegant look. Suits were a staple, usually broad-shouldered and often worn with a waistcoat. The double-breasted suit, despite using more fabric, was particularly popular. Trousers were usually wide-legged and high-waisted. Despite the simplicity necessitated by the war, these fashion trends reflected men's commitment to appearing stylish, composed, and professional. The Second World War significantly altered men's perception of themselves. Servicemen returning from the war, having maintained their physical fitness and learned the importance of discipline, grooming, and cleanliness, brought these values back to civilian life. The societal pressure and expectation of being a well-groomed man was also amplified by media representations and advertising campaigns. Comparatively, men's body image consciousness in the 1940s marked a distinct departure from earlier decades, particularly the late 19th and early 20th centuries, when men were primarily valued for their moral character and achievements rather than their physical appearance. However, the war, combined with the rise of advertising and mass media, began to shift the emphasis onto physical attributes. This period was arguably the beginning of an increasingly image-conscious society where men, just like women, were subject to certain beauty standards. The 1940s witnessed an important shift in men's attitudes towards body and image consciousness. The war and societal changes fostered a new ideal, the fit, well-groomed, and stylishly dressed man. This marked the beginning of an evolution in men's self-perception, a trend that would continue to evolve in the decades that followed.
Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this.